So here we are again in sunny Spain with Fran and Jose from Corju Hunting and we're hunting Ibex. Myself and Wildy have been here before and we've harvested a very nice management Ibex and Wildy got a very old, beautiful, gnarly old bronze. But we've seen some pretty big animals here and we thought we'd come and try our luck for something a little older and a little wiser. Now, although it looks very beautiful, and it is, the scenery belies the level of difficulty of hunting here. It's a sort of hunt where you climb a mountain, all you can see is, is gravel and rock and thorns, and it's tough and it's hard going, and you can see those around you are starting to struggle too. So you kind of turn around, lean back on the mountain, and then out in front of you is the most beautiful sight you can possibly imagine. And it was kind of sunny this morning, a little bit of cloud, but the way the sun was coming through, it just lit up the countryside around. You could see all the minerals and, and the rock formations of the hillsides. And uh, yeah, I just felt incredibly privileged to be here. Uh, we got up first thing this morning, headed out to an area that we know uh, there's a couple of big metal class Ibex uh, billies, but they were nowhere to be seen today. Saw a few females uh, and one representative buck, probably about seven years old. But despite all the climbing, all the effort, all the bright sunshine, all the sweating, it was to no avail. Unfortunately, after all that work, we met Wildy on the other side with a bottle of water and not much else. But I have to say, despite all of the effort and the disappointment of not seeing anything, it was one of the most rewarding stalks I've had for a long, long time. So this morning, unfortunately, we didn't get what we were looking for. So in for lunch, stock up again on calories and get ready for an afternoon session. And boy, was it an afternoon session. Older than 11 is not easy, but we knew of an animal in this area that was older, but will also would be bigger. And uh, we thought the best option for today, looking at the weather, would be to give it a try. This is an area that isn't hunted very often by Fran. They know there's a couple of big animals in here, but the going is very, very tough. It's about a 40 minute drive from where we were having lunch. Uh, so we got up to the top of the bluff and then just started gently scanning. Saw a fox, a couple of females, and then eagle-eyed Jose managed to spot these glinting paddles in the sunlight. And lo and behold, it was a monster ibex. It's really, really difficult to find them here. But well, with the help of all the team, we managed to locate this animal about 1,000 yards, a bit more, and realized he was the ibex we were looking for. It was looking directly over at our position, meandering around with the female, very, very relaxed. And we decided to come drive around, go behind this mountain that's kind of behind me right now, and then make a stalk. but I didn't realize just how close we were. After coming over the bluff, crawling through the bush, so Jose kind of pointed me through this really nasty prickly thorn bush, passed me my rifle, and there he was, beautiful, lying straight on towards me at 85 yards. Now that is some incredible hunting. To get me to this position from nearly 1,100 yards away, almost on the animal, so close we could hear it breathing. Being able to reach him, on 85 yards, I mean, impossible to do it better. Got to him, he realized the Ibex was still laying down, so he thought the best option and the fairest option, according to Fair Chase, was to let him stand up. And it was a little bit like a dog standing up. First the front legs came up and then the back end followed. animal we've shot this year, 13 years old. And that's the biggest happiness. I mean, it's a beautiful trophy, monster trophy, but the best thing of all, the age is. Now that, it's a good shot. Mm -hmm. 
It's a little bit above the heart, heart here, double lung, maybe a little bit high. I'm zeroed for um, 250 yards. He stood up, I gave him a little bit of time. Maybe we're waiting about 10, 15 minutes. 12, 12 years old, very, very old. A fabulous shot, an incredible animal, an experience that I'll never forget. And I can't thank uh, Fran and Jose enough, not only for their incredible hunting skills, but the hospitality, the quality of service that we've had since we've been here, and an experience, as I say, that I don't think I'll ever forget.